Getting real repetitive here, guys. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 8th episode of the show, Power Rangers Zeo, as well as the 163rd episode overall titled, The Puppet Blaster. We begin this episode at the Youth Center where children are screaming for Captain Pete and his sidekick, Puppet Man. This is already creepy as hell. They're doing a show for the kids, and they have a secret word, which is Power Rangers, which ends with Captain Pete getting hit in the face with a bucket of water. Apparently Rocky, Cat, and Tommy are in the crowd. I mean, what the hell are they doing there? Ernie comes up and they all talk about how cool it is that Ernie is doing this for the kids. The kids then say their favorite superheroes are the Power Rangers, which ends with confetti getting all over them. In space, I bond with Mondo, who says that the screeching laughter of children is the worst noise ever. He wants to turn the children against the world, and he has a plan to do so. Meanwhile, on a hill, Tanya and Adam are training, which is a cool thing that shows that Tanya actually doesn't know martial arts at all, but she's learning. Honestly, this has happened in the passing a few times since Tanya showed up. I'm glad they're giving one of the female characters, like, something to work on. She even hits down Adam, and Adam says that she's still learning, but she's doing great. Also, teaching her helps him prep for his match. I want them to kiss so badly. Hulk and Skull show up with Stone and some kid named Arnie. Arnie looks like a douchebag, even as a literal child. He calls Stone Uncle Jerome, and Stone leaves, and Arnie kicks Bulk in the shin, and they start manhandling this child. It's weird. Clank has completed something to take control of the children, and Mondo tells him to send down the cogs to get this done. They talk about how the rangers are nearby, but it won't matter as long as it gets done. We're back at the show, and then cogs show up on the stage out of nowhere, and Captain Pete just starts vamping, saying that they're the special guests for the episode. Rocky says that they have to do something, but Tommy says to wait because they don't want the kids to get hurt. I feel like that's why you should do something. Then the cogs plant a device on Puppet Man's ass, and Arnie runs away from Bulk and Skull. Then the cogs say that they're going to kill the Power Rangers, and this ends with him getting a bucket of water on him because they said the secret word. Then the cogs just leave, and Rocky, Tommy, and Cat are super confused as to what just happened. They leave to call Zordon. Then we get a really creepy scene of Puppet Man firing lasers at the kids, making their eyes glow bright. Everyone is really confused as to what the hell is going on, and suddenly the kids start attacking the set, destroying everything. Tommy calls Zordon, and Billy says that he's going to check the computer. He says that they're under a spell from a big robot of some kind. Tommy and them figure out it's Puppet Man. Doi. Adam and Tanya then get the call, teleporting out to help them. Meanwhile, Arnie is tying up Bulk and Skull while Ernie is screaming at the kids, and he calls for the Power Rangers, and he ends up getting water to the face. Adam and Tanya teleport in, and they decide that in the hallway is as good of a place as any to morph, I guess. The Rangers run into the Youth Center, confronting Puppet Man, and it looks like the kids are gone. They talk smack for a little bit before the kids start come marching in, being used as human shields. The rangers are struggling to stop the kids, and in the power chamber, Alpha laments that the rangers can't punch children. <laughs> I mean, thanks, Alpha. Billy works on a way to stop Puppet Man's connection to the children. Puppet Man then makes the children march toward the rangers, and they back up, afraid to do anything. On the moon, Machina suggests that they send Puppet Man to the satellite center so that they can just have him broadcast across the world. Puppet Man disappears, so the rangers teleport away to the power chamber while the kids just keep marching. We then see some kids flying a kite who get hit by Puppet Man, turning them into assholes. He does the same thing with some kids having a picnic. He then gets a couple of girls at a playground, one of which just throws a baby doll onto the ground. In the power chamber, they find out that he's on his way to the satellite center, and Billy says that he has a new device that might just help them stop the frequency. It's called the Defender Wheel. It's loaded up with Zeozord 5. Back to action. The rangers show up outside the building and they fight Puppet Man and the cogs. Not doing that great. They then just take out their swords that I'm actually not sure if they've ever named. And they hit Puppet Man before they fire at him with the Zeo laser pistols. Tommy then calls out the Defender Will, which comes down from Zeo Zord 5. Then Tommy gets inside hitting Puppet Man, confirming that they've definitely been using this in the Japanese footage this entire time. But they cut around it for some reason. Then the kids come out of the spell, except for Arnie, who is actually just an asshole. Yelling, boo! at Bulk and Skull. I hate this kid. Orbis and Clank then show up, making Puppet Man giant. Can we just remember that this monster wasn't even their creation? The Rangers call out their Zeozords forming the Zeomegazord. They fight against Puppet Man doing really well super easily, but then Puppet Man hits back and fires giant gears at them. Tanya gets in control, stopping more attacks. Then Adam gets in control, and he's really putting those gravity powers to great use. I think it's safe to say that one thing was wrong there before. Billy then finds out that Puppet Man's nose is a link to Mondo. Somehow, that definitely wasn't a thing before. They should actually just try to cut off his ass. They then just cut off his nose before they straight up blow the dude up. Again, this thing wasn't even a Machine Empire creation. 
Of course, in space, Mondo is pissed about him losing yet again. At the youth center, the Captain Pete show is happening again, and everyone is there with Billy, talking about how Alpha had time to reassemble Puppet Man. Then Bulk and Skull are yelling at Arnie, and then he warns them to be careful, because if they tell the truth, they'll get kicked off the force so fast, their heads will spin. Then Stone comes in, and Arnie tells him how they were saved by the Power Rangers, and yeah, he gets a pie to the face. The end. Over the credits, we get bloopers from the episode. I believe that that's all we're going to get from now on, so just assume that's what's going on unless I start to state otherwise. This episode was a kind of special, this episode was a special kind of weird and terrible. For instance, the Machine Empire didn't even do anything to create this monster really. It made a small gear that the cogs just stuck on his butt, making him evil. It's just a weird one and overall these last few episodes of Zeo have really felt like Mighty Morphin Season 1 episodes. I feel like we've really gone back in terms of quality when it comes to storytelling which is a shame. So will next time get any better? Until then, may the power protect you. In the center of the Captain Peep show, Peep, Captain Peep show. <laughs>